Hi, everybody. My name is Rockwell. And my name is Hunter. And this is what year is it? 2021? That is exactly right, son. The year is 2021 for this episode because we're going to be talking about the new movie released from Disney, Luca. Yeah. Originally, we were going to talk about the Mitchells versus the Machines because that's kind of a cool movie. And then or we... Bebe's Kids. Yeah, but we thought maybe Bebe's Kids was too mature for the rest of you guys today. You know, especially because I got my special co host. So we figured uh, Luca was something new we just watched. So we figured we'd, we'd give it a once over and try to explain it to everybody best we can, you know? Yes. Um, son, what is Luca about? It's about the fish boy, and his parents tell him not to go out the water, and you know what he does? What does he do? Goes out of water. Hmm. Then what happens? Mm, he meets this boy Albert, Alberto, mm-hmm. and he learns how to walk. And then he trips over two times, and then he learns how to walk, and he sees a Vespa. Now it's your turn, hmm. Father. You explained a lot, kiddo. Well, um, Luke is a pretty funny movie, like you said. It's about sea creatures. If I had to explain the sea creatures, it's like um, sea monkeys meets like, I don't know, uh, sea dragons. I don't know. They look all dragon because they got scales and stuff, right? Yeah, but they just look like they got snake skin. Exactly. So So they're kind of like a snake, except they have legs. They do have legs. They do have legs. I mean, they're basically people, but they're just underwater people. Um, and Luke I, and Luca is. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really curious because I want to know how they became a fish, or they were born as a fish. I think they all were born fish people. You know what I mean? Just like you know, birds gotta fly, fish gotta swim. I think they were all already sea monsters, and that's why when the movie starts and they got this little island of what spoilers in case we didn't obviously uh, explain that. Um, yeah. I feel like, you know, that little island that the fishermen were like, don't go over to this island because, you know, they say there's sea monsters there, but really it's just uh, good fishing and people trying to keep the, um, they're like, they're trying to keep all the good fishermen away from the good fishing spots. But really, there's a whole city of sea creature folk and they're just regular people. And it seems like Luca doesn't go to school. Uh, Because I don't think the school system is in their society of underwater fish people. Yeah. Uh, Luca goes, he's basically a shepherd. He keeps up with these Mm. sheep-like fish all day. And the the fish, and all of that, just like sheep. You remember that part? And he was like, Mona Lisa, just happy, and all that stuff. And he's like gathering all these sheep-like fish. And he just seems like a shepherd, you know? And... He just does that during the daytime, and he's kind of looking up, and he's frightened to death of when he sees a boat coming. He's like, land monsters. I thought that was kind of crazy. What? what, Did did they eat food when he went home? What food did the sea creature people eat? They ate, like, um, sea salad. (laughs) Sea salad? And they had some, some sea bread. Yeah, sea bread. And they had some, some, what, did you say onions, tomatoes? Yeah, onions, tomatoes. They kind of look like um, these chairs. Hmm. Now, what did the dad do for a living? Because it seemed like Luca had to take care of the, the sheep. The, the sheep fish, being a, he had to be a shepherd. So what did the dad do? I'm wondering because in the first scene I saw him, he had a, you know, when he had like that crab mm-hmm. and he looked in the eye. So maybe he could have been like, you know, a fish person. Or meh. What do you mean a fish person? Like somebody that deals with regular fish? Like, 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 let's say like this. You're an aquarium person. Okay. Like that. Okay, I get that. 
So, because the way I was looking at it, because he had that crab, right? And he was like, this is a prize snow crab or whatever it was, right? Yeah. I feel like he was treating that crab the way a person would treat like a prize dog or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a pet, almost. And maybe he could be, I don't know, a... You think they're eating the crabs? Yeah, so they can make some crab legs. Yeah. Well, you know, crab legs are delicious. Yeah. If you're not allergic to shellfish. <laughs> anyway, um, so, okay, so he's doing this and a bunch of interesting stuff. He's finding a bunch of human stuff, you know, radios and this and that and the third. And then he bumps into, who does he bump into? Alberto. Alberto is who he bumps into. And Alberto's in like a scuba type suit. So he mm. thinks that Alberto's a human. And he's like, hey, man, I'm not human. And, and Luca's like, oh, okay, oh, thank God. But Alberto kind of walks off with some of the uh, human stuff that Luca's been, you know, kind of saving and hiding to the side so his family don't find it. So uh, Alberto is walking out of the water. And Luca's like, whoa, you got my stuff, you got my stuff. And so Luca's trying to get out there with Alberto. And next thing you know, he pops out. And what happens? He gets so scared that um, he get, he just, like, circles around the floor, even though there's nothing going to happen. And it's kind of a bad example because they said, because Alberto said, look at, don't look at the sun. Then he said, no, actually, look at this one. Oh, we're getting ahead of ourselves, buddy boy. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, you're okay. No, uh, what happens is Alberto is leaving. Luke is not even thinking about it because he's just putting a chase on. And next thing you know, Luca looks up and he's out of the water. And all of a sudden, all of his scales are starting to disappear and regular human skin is popping up. His scales on his head are disappearing and human hair is growing in. His tail is disappearing, you know? And it, and he's it's basically still there, but it's just called phantom tail. It's a phantom tail. You can still feel his he can still feel his tail even when it disappears in the uh when yeah. he gets out of the water. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that was a crazy scene. He's and like like Hunter said, Alberto's trying to teach Luca how to walk. Like he's literally because Luca gets out and he was like, Well, come with me. And Luca's like gah, 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 trying to get, <laughs> he's trying to still swim in the air. He's like, Yeah, bro, it don't work like that. He's I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop. 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 I'm sorry. Stop it. Relax. So, no, but all, all BS aside, he was just pretending to um he was trying to walk, but in his version of walking, it's using your chest and legs to swim. And Luca didn't understand how to not do that on land so alberto literally had to explain as simply as he could how to walk he's like put your foot in front of you and catch yourself before you fall i was like oh and then he gets pushed he gets pushed yeah because remember when he was like when he was just like standing there and he went straight then alberto pushed him then he caught himself and he was like this oh you're right i come back so the people can see you um yeah so he basically taught him how to walk immediately alberto was like oh you know i live on land i don't live in the water i live on land with my dad my dad's been busy doing having adventures and stuff so i basically live on my own and do whatever i want yeah. you know i basically have my own world and luca's like this is crazy and dangerous my parents told me to never come <laughs> outside of the water and um Eventually, he's like, okay, this is fun. And Alberto's like, hey, come back tomorrow. So Luca sneaks back, you know, back to his house. Nobody's the wiser. Gets back underwater. You know, he's sitting there at home because he shares a room with his grandmother. And, uh, and um, as, as soon as he gets home. And, she, and he thinks his grandma is awake, but then she snores so loud like. <laughs> That's very true. That's very true. And he's in his bed and he's dreaming about. Uh, or he's just thinking about how cool his day was that he got to go out into the human world and nobody was the wiser. Um, so that was awesome. Get off the table, son. Um, no, nah, but um, what else? Then what happened? Uh, 
he he went back to go hang out with Alberto again, right? Yeah, he went to go look out to the town. Then he saw this. No, 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 no. Before we got to the town, uh, he went back to go to Alberto's house, and Alberto explained to him what a Vespa was. Uh huh. And he and he said, if you sit on it, it could take you to anywhere in the stinking world. And then Luca imagines hopping on a Vespa, which is basically a motorized scooter. And he's imagining yeah. in his mind that the Vespa can fly. So they're like flying in the air all over the world. <laughs> they're flying all over the world. They're by the Eiffel Tower. They're all over, you know. Um, it, it was kind of cool. But you can tell that neither one of these boys truly knows what the Vespa really does. They just know that they want one because it symbolizes freedom. And next thing you know, they decide to build one themselves. So they start building one. That was pretty cool. And they made it out of like just anything, didn't they? Yeah, then um, something went wrong. They were uh, driving till the thing broke into pieces. They drove it down the hill. And they would, and for some reason, Alberto wanted to make the Vespa go directly into the water. And the way they went up uh, up over the hill, the Vespa was about to slam onto some rocks, and it, it broke apart. And Luca had to kick between both of them so they wouldn't hit the rock, and they both fell in the water. It was awesome. It was a great scene. Oh yeah! It was yeah. super cool. But uh, all that to say, um. The mother and father start to notice that Luca isn't sticking around to do his job as a shepherd and take care of the sheepfish. Luca's disappearing to go hang out with his buddy. Luca's made a scarecrow, which he don't, I don't think he recognizes as a scarecrow. I feel like he thinks he invented it. He basically just stacked up a bunch of rocks to make it look like a person, a, yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah. a sea creature person. And, uh, and then he started hanging out with Alberto every day trying to build Vespas and stuff. And his mom and dad knew that something was wrong. And that's when the uncle came. Remember the uncle? Yeah. Who? What was? The, was that Uncle Ugo? Uncle Hugo or something like that? Yeah, cause you like try to punch him in the heart, like. Eh. To to get him back to life, he was he basically lives in the deep, and the deep is that part of the ocean where the sun doesn't reach it, so it's pitch black at all times, and there's a whole society of fish that live down there, like the one fish with the. The light in front of it, in front of its face, but it's really like, oh, like that. That's what his uncle Hugo looks like. Goldfish. Well, I don't know if that's a goldfish, but uh, oh. you know the the little light, like on Finding Nemo, the the there was a pretty little light, and it turned out to be a monster right there. That's what the uncle looked like, and uh, oh. the uncle was like, the uncle was like, uh, yeah, your mom called and she said you can just come and live with me down in the deep, and you'll learn and you'll learn how to be. A man, you know, a fish man or whatever. And Uncle Hugo was like, oh, and, you know, you just eat whatever's in front of you because you can't see in front of you, so you never know what's going on. So whatever's in front of you, you just eat it and you get strong. And then his heart stopped in the middle of the conversation and they had to punch him in the heart just to get his heart back going. <laughs> all, all this to say, that was a lot scary for a, a soft, timid boy like Luca to have to deal with. Any, anyone like... <laughs> That's very true, he did. <laughs> so, um, then what did Luca do? Because he was all scared because of his uncle. So what did he do next? He ran away to the town with Alberto. That's what he did. He hopped into the, um, he hopped out, ran to Alberto's house like, whoa, uh, it's getting, cre getting crazy at my house, man. Uh, we need to get a Vespa and get up out of here. And he's like, well, I bet you Mr. Vespa, Alberto says, I bet you Mr. Vespa lives in that town. And they look over and that's like the closest town with people in it because they don't know what anything is for real. Yeah. Alberto's kind of like pretending to be an expert about everything, right? Uh, yeah. Because if I was uh, Luca, I would just find out on my own. I would say, bye, I'm leaving but, but Alberto is Luca's only connection to the surface world. That's the only person he knows above, you know, above water. So that's the only person he could trust. And he was too nervous to try to go into town himself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So 
Luca and Alberto walk into town, and then they meet a nice young girl. What is that young girl's name? Uh, that's the redhead, right? Yeah, the redhead. With the, uh, she had the cart with the fish in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her uh, name was um, Ju- Julia Marcovaldo. Yes, yes, yes. And the actor's name is Emma Berman. There we go. Very good, son. So, um, yeah, she pops up and she's, of course, you know, strong uh, uh, female character because most female characters so far has only been the mom and the grandma. And the grandma's very, you know, I want the boy to be happy. And the mom is like, what, what, what? So, you know, it's um, <laughs> it's true, though. But So they get to town, and um, they're looking around, just seeing how things are. They realize that now that they're in town, they cannot get wet. That becomes a big part of the whole movie. These two, these two little boys cannot get water on them, or their scales will pop out. Mm-hmm. Am I boring you? No. <laughs> Just this painting on the wall. Ah. As it has no soul or no eyes. It does not have as soul or eyes. Have you noticed eye. that? I have noticed it. It is a skeleton. Neither does Th- Thanos. Thanos has never had a soul. But um, would you like some water? No, thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> but thank you all for offering me. You're very welcome. Can we get back to the movie? Yes. All right. So, um... Where were we? Um, Alberto and Luca first get into town. They meet Julia. She's super nice. And she's like, you kids. Well, at first, they get the bad guy in town. Oh, the bad guy is such a bully. Yeah, because he got a little ugly mustache. It's just like... He's the worst. His name is Ercole. Ercole Visconti. And his real name is... Saviero. Saviero. Raimondo. Raymond Romondo. Very very good. So, anyway, he comes up, and he's the guy, and he walk, drives up on a brand new Vespa looking real cool. So the boys immediately think, this is Mr. Vespa. This is the guy who creates Vespas. So they walk right up to him like, Mr. Vespa. And he's like, you idiots. I'm not Mr. Vespa. I'm super cool guy. I'm the coolest guy in this town. I got a lot of power and influence. And he was like, I won this Vespa last year in the bicycle competition. The one that's coming up next in the next couple of days. Yeah. Conveniently. Like all cool kids movies, there's some sort of tournament where you win something cool. But this guy was the winner the year before. And he's a, it turns out he's a cheater. But uh, that's besides the mm-hmm. point. But uh, he's trying to pick on the kids, and they're getting nervous. And then Julia pops up and saves them, puts her, puts them in the back of her fish cart on the back of her bike. And um, can I talk now? Please. And then they go to her house, and they eat some s- spaghetti. And then um, Luca spits out some water because he hears that the dad hunts fish. Fish monsters. Or the dad hunt. The dad is a fisherman. He gets fish every day. Uh huh. And I have a question. Question. Was it just me, or did the lights flicker on and off? Wasn't here. Mm-hmm. You might. I don't. I don't. I. To be honest with you, I wasn't paying that much attention. Well, maybe you were just looking at the skeleton man. I was not. Mm-hmm. Um, the one thing about the dad, uh, Julia's dad, he was missing an arm. I think, his, I think his left arm was gone, but he said yeah. he but he said he was born without it. So he's always had to, you know, be his own man without it. He's like, it's just something I'm missing. No big deal. I still live life. I handle my business. And he was a great fisherman. And eventually the boys went out with him going fishing. And, like, of course, the whole movie, they just got you kind of like, oh, are they going to get wet at the wrong time? And then, you know, water splashes on them and something gets wet, so they got to cover it up in front of the in front of Julia's dad. Yeah, they go under the table, and then the cat's just like, what you doing? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. But, but then the thing about it was, Alberto was talking to, how oh, those veggie chips, they're good? Mm, very quality crunch. Anyway, so... Al, uh, Al, Alberto's helping the dad 
find all the good spots where he can get a lot of fish. And they're coming back with mountains of fish, which is really good for their business, bringing them in money and such. But my, but my only thing about that is them being Alberto and Luca being sea creatures and helping this human find fish. Are they being a traitor to their people? I mean, they don't talk to the fish, but I don't. I don't think they eat fish either. You know what I mean? Yeah, but aren't crabs a fish? I mean, it's a sea creature. It's a crustacean. Crustacean. It's a shellfish. Okay. I take your word. Well, so what do you think? Do you think that he was like being? Or maybe, or maybe, 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 blah, 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 that Alberto isn't a farmer. But was Luca helping too? Because I can't remember. I think, I think Luca did. I, I mean, he was there, the, I think, the first fishing trip they took. And then I think Alberto had to go by himself because Luca was so doing Al something else. So Alberto was probably not helping, but here's the thing, though. Is Alberto a farmer? I told you, don't slam the table. Alberto's not a farmer. Alberto is a vagabond. A vagabond is basically someone that doesn't really have a home to be in, and they go from place to place. So, so, okay, you know what? We're all over the place. Let's just keep going with the story, okay? Yeah. We're getting too deep into this. Okay, so, um, you know, time progresses. The mom and dad, Luca's mom and dad, get really nervous because Luca hasn't returned to go into the deep with his freakishly scary uncle so they they're like i think he went out into the surface world so we're gonna go into the surface world so next thing you know the mom and dad come to the surface world and they become human and they and they have to figure out customs and how to move and uh you know where they're going what clothes they're gonna wear they had to steal some clothes off a, a, a line they went to town and literally the rest of the movie the mom and dad are just throwing water on on random children in the town to see if they turn into Luca. Because they don't know what Luca looks like as a human. Isn't that all they did the whole movie? Yeah, but then, like, they looked for him, but then they saw him. Then he went, then Luca went like... Yeah, he disappeared on him. He did disappear on him. But that's because he was in the midst of... Figuring out how to be in this bike competition with Julia and Alberto so they could win this brand new Vespa. So they're like, you know, training montage type action. And uh, I mean, they're prepping, for, uh, they're helping the dad get fish. They're helping Julia's dad get fish. They're training for the bike competition thing. They're avoiding trying to get wet in front of people. And the parents are constantly throwing water on every child just to. Uh, to count down to see how they can find their son. They eventually see Luca. Luca runs. Yeah. And that's where the, that's where the trouble really ensues. Am I wrong? Yeah, because then um, Luca finds the girl, and they read about the world. About the fish monsters. Yeah, they and they also read about... About what? Moon. Oh yeah, the moon. Oh yeah, that was a big thing with them. They were like, the moon. Uh, he said the moon was. What did he say the moon was? The moon was a fish. Yeah, the moon, the stars were all fish. Yeah, that was crazy. Then there's the big fish. The moon. Yeah, it's it's a it's a good movie. I like it. Um. But what if? But here's one thing that they should have said. What do they call the? Shooting star. I can't remember. The light fish with the... Uh-huh. Yeah. What about them? Maybe that's the shooting star. That's what they call it. Oh, I don't think that's the name of what that uncle's species of fish is with the light bulbing right there. Look it up! Well, I, I, I'm trying to hold on to my, uh, my cast of characters. But, um... Okay, so... Where do we stop at? Okay, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's trying to make everything work. Uh, the boys are busy doing a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, yeah, he's a piranha. They get chased. Yes, it's like a piranha. You got me all over the place. Let's let's stay focused. Um, the the kid goes, they're, they're going downhill or something. 
the boys, Alberto falls into water. And he yeah. turns into a sea monster in front of everybody. Uh-huh. And everybody goes, oh my gosh, a monster, a monster. And, and like, is this where like the bike part? Uh huh. That's where Luca leaves. That's where Luca leaves Alberto there by himself to be a monster because he can't let everybody know he's a monster. He got to win this Vespa. Yeah, and but so, he he was in the bike thing. That was when Alberto. That was when Alberto knew that he was basically. He was like, "Well, I'm alone. We're, I, I mean, we're friends, but I guess we're not friends. Friends like that. You're just gonna leave me by myself in this situation." And Alberto, you know, swam away, disappeared. You know, and then uh. Then what happened? The bike race happens, right? Yes. And then they do the bike race. And then Luca gets in, like, you know, the, the big heavy guy thing. Mm-hmm. But, uh, no, 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 they, they do the bike race, and they're doing pretty good because it's Julia, mm-hmm. Julia and Luca, and, you know, everybody trying to work together. Mm-hmm. But then it starts to rain. And then... That's when Luca has to try to protect himself. So he doesn't get found out for being a sea monster. And the bad guy does a bunch of bad guy stuff. Watch the movie. Yeah. But um, he's trying to mess Luca up. And Alberto comes in to try to save the day. But everybody can see he's a sea monster from the rain hitting him. And then Luca said, screw it. And threw his thing down. And uh, Because they were winning the bike race. Luca was winning the bike race. And then it started raining. And it was kind of screwing him up. Yeah. And they were trying to get Alberto, so Luca tried to save Alberto by being like, screw it, and he threw his umbrella. And so now everybody can see that Luca's a, a sea monster, but he won the race. Yeah. So the judges, because at first everybody's like, he's a monster, let's get him. And then you find out the two old ladies that live in the town that always are covered up by scarves and have umbrellas and all of that, they, they let are, themselves get wet. What were they? They are... Sea monsters. Yes, they are. And then uh, it was some other people in town that were sea monsters. His grandmother popped up and was like, "Oh yeah, I come up here all the time. You know, I just don't mention it to your mother." Like it was. I thought it was interesting. Um, yeah. It was a good movie. So basically, the whole town is like, "All right, we're at peace with there being sea monsters in our community because they've always been here." And the kids won the Vespa. Only thing about the Vespa. It was kind of rusty dusty, wasn't it? Yeah. And remember at the end, um, Luca dro- uh, gets away? Oh, in because... In the train, the part where you cried at? You got to tell the world my business. I'm sorry. It's, yes, I did cry. But, uh, well, there's no but to that. It was it was a very, it was a tearjerker moment. But um, all through the movie, Luca's learning about school. He learned about school from Julia. She's like, when I go to school, I learn this. He's like, school? Whoa, you go and you learn stuff? Boop, blah, blah. So his dream is going to school. Alberto's dream ain't to go to no damn school. Alberto is <laughs> part of my French. It's okay. <laughs> Alberto is out in these streets hustling. He's going to hang out with uh, the daddy. You know what I mean? Julia's going back to school. And turns out at the end, surprise, Luca gets to go to school too, even though he's a sea monster. And I'm like, well, how are the people at the school going to deal with him being a sea monster when only the people in this village know that he's a sea monster? Loophole that has nothing to do with a beautiful ending. So Alberto and Luca are basically like brothers now, right? They're best friends. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like bros. Luca's like the only family that Alberto had at that moment until... They got Julia, he meets the dad. The mom and dad, Luca's mom and dad are still going to be in the area. And I'm sure they're going to be uh, very kind to Alberto. But the saddest part, the part that made me cry, and it's so funny. I be thinking these are like really heartfelt moments and they really yeah. build up to it with the music. I get to I get to welling up, tears start falling. I'm like, oh, it's so beautiful to me. Hunter, my son looks over at me like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Are you okay? <laughs> You're so strong-willed. You don't cry in any of these movies. I'm always the one crying. Remember when we went to go see uh, Infinity War? Yeah. And I was just sitting there. <laughs> you were like, Dad, are you all right? I was like, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> anyway. Um, Dad. 
You can do some ASMR by eating a vegetable chip. That sounds fantastic. This is our vegetable chip sound. Excellent. Uh, where were we? So, as I was saying, tearjerker moment when Luca finds out he gets to go to school with Julia, hops on the train. He has to say goodbye to Alberto. Oh, another thing. Shut up, Bruno. That was a whole thing through the whole movie. There's a voice in the back of your mind. Alberto calls that voice in the back of your mind Bruno. And every time Bruno tells you not to do something, he says, shut up, Bruno. I thought that was really cool. I thought that was a beautiful way to make yourself more brave in moments when you're not brave. You know? Anyway. I like Luca. I think it's dope. Back to this train. I keep getting distracted by the train. Okay. So, Luca gets on the train. He's saying goodbye to Alberto. The train starts to starts to leave. What is the thing that they always have characters do in a movie when they're next to a train saying goodbye to a friend? Alberto is running next to the train. He is literally like just looking at his best buddy. And he's like, ah, I forgot what he said. It was a classic line. Watch the movie, you'll see it. But he oh he just yeah. And next thing you know, Luca's out in the rain. The train is raining outside the train, and he's turning into a monster while leaning on the side of the train. And I was like, man, they're gonna they're gonna lynch that kid when he gets to that school. That's all I was thinking, but it's a beautiful, beautiful film. I thought it was fun. Wait, 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 wait. I'm curious about this. Mm. I'm curious. What if they have, like, swimming classes in the school and they find out that he's a sea monster? Exactly. Exactly. That's all I'm thinking this whole time. I'm like... Or, like, it's paint, like, look, like... I'm curious, but what, like, what if he drinks water? Will the inside turn? turn? Well, they showed you in the they showed you earlier in the movie when they were having dinner with Julia and her dad that they can drink water, and you know nothing happens. But once he spit it out, remember he spit it out yeah. and it hit Alberto and he turned into a fish in the face. Mm-hmm. So my only thing is, are the people at the school prepared to deal with this this sea creature person? Do they know about these sea creature people, or is he going to have to do the whole thing he's been doing in this town the whole time and not get wet the whole time he's in school? Like, it's paint wet? Paint is wet. What if they have paint class? Well, paint's not... Well, it depends on what type of paint you're using. If it's like, 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 what about, like, watercolor? Exactly. That's exactly. I think watercolors would probably change the skin, but, like, regular paint, maybe not, because that's more, that's more chemical-based. Mm-hmm. So, um... That's pretty much... I think we've uh, covered the, the entirety of the movie Luca. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. One more is it more? Hmm? One more chip. You know what? You should enjoy one more chip before we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rockwell. And I am Hunter. And um, we want to thank you for stopping in, hanging out. Yeah, and watching. And watching. Um, don't forget to smash that bell and uh, hit that like button. And hit and that subscribe button. Yes, and have all your friends love us and hang out. And please share this because we're just trying to have some fun. Yeah, even share this with your mom. Or if you have a sibling, send it now. We'd appreciate it so much. We want to thank you for checking in to What Year Is It with Rockwell Knuckles. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.